The family has been identified as an important site in which normative notions of gender are enacted. It is here that children learn about gender. The South African Medical Research Council's Violence, Injury and Peace Research Unit has developed a policy brief calling for policies and programs to promote equal gender relations in the home. They say that they are able to demonstrate the ways in which particular notions of masculinity and femininity, as taught in the home, are intertwined with practices of violence and sexual risk. What is happening in South African families? Most families uh, do not convey gender uh, equality in the house. They don't talk as much about gender. They do it. And then when you sit down with them, they begin to say, oh, I, I haven't thought about that. That is what you might call traditional families, you know, families that, that are either religious or basically that are, that are not feminist, that, don't, that have not quite thought about what gender means and what, uh, even what, what uh, a gender equal family means. The Violence, Injury and Peace Research Unit found that in a number of families, both parents and children constructed men and women as essentially different from one another. They also constructed them as occupying different positions within the family. Whilst women were constructed as primary caregivers, men were constructed as providers, disciplinarians and authority figures within the household. The unit observed families from different socio-economic backgrounds and interviewed them about the practices and meanings of gender within the context of their families. Just the everyday practice of what does mom do, what does dad do, or what does granny do. Uh, so those are things like cooking and cleaning and working. Um, but those send messages to children about, you know, what the woman's role is in society and what, the, and what the man's role is. What they're not doing is teaching their children, also talking, the parents themselves talking about uh, how equal are we in these families? Who does what? Uh, what do we teach our, our daughters and our, and our sons? While a number of parenting programs have been rolled out by the Department of Social Development in recent years, these programs do not address gender equality as a central component. Professor Ratele says we need to develop a language around complex issues such as gender, a language that will make it more accessible for families to talk about gender. For men and women and boys to be uh, to be equal is good for them. We don't, we have not developed that language, but also we haven't developed it for our grandmothers, but generally for men and women. We have not developed a, a, a suite, a suite of, of, of programs and languages in Sivenda, Sitsonga, Sisutu, that make this real for them. And the more you talk to talk to people in their language, the more they begin to understand. Of course, they, they understand that women are strong, are powerful, are independent, and they do this in their everyday lives. But of course, they don't connect their own practices with the, the constitution or theories about equality. The conscious programming and policy making for the promotion of gender equalities within families is essential in order to disrupt harmful gender relations that can contribute to violence at a later stage in life. They definitely are policies and programs. And one example is an organization such as Sonke Gender Justice, which does really great work sort of in the family sphere. So one of the things that they do is work around father involvement. So that is trying to disrupt this idea that it's only women who should be responsible for children. And then also parenting has sort of recently been recognized as an important site for intervention. So there's a lot of work and policy being developed around corporal punishment because it's been recognized that that is one of the ways in which notions of violence are transferred from parents to children. So if you demonstrate violence towards your children, they are likely to exhibit violence in, in sort of other contexts. What is it that can assist in undoing the constructs of inequalities in homes? We are interested in, in disseminating information about gender equality and particularly children and gender equality. And so we've started with designing postcards that, that, that actually draw on quotes from, the, from our study and things that children have said that show that gender equality is in fact possible and just to try and normalize that in particular. So this says, this is two quotes from children in our study and the one says, boys can play with Barbie, girls can play with Batman. And then the second one says, we are all human beings. Such other research shows, shows this, that gender equality and progressive masculinities are good. But for young women in particular, Young women, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting thing uh, to, when, when, you, when, you, when, they, when you say this out loud to them, that to be independent, to have control over your life, to believe that you can do anything that, that boys, young men and men do, is a fundamental message, it's a, it's a fantastic message. 
And in that moment, you start to, to have the societies that we, we want to have, that we aspire to be in this, in this country.